are where there's this powerhouse of nutrition and we make a beautiful curry with it but you can also throw them in a in a salad you can also throw them in a in a smoothie in a chutney what you like um, we can also eat the flowers and we can there's a vegetable that you that you may have had you know it's a hard skin and you you there's a very mucousy center um, it's a powerful aphrodisiac actually, but it's, uh, it's also very high in iron and very tasty. So these leaves we'll also take for our salad. What we'll do is everyone will harvest different things because afterwards when we dis you know, distribute the things, it's very difficult if they're all mixed up. So this drumstick spinach, you break off one of the sticks, plug it in and it grows. It's growing here, it's growing here, it's growing there. We start to dry the leaves and we'll get a huge actual economic benefit from selling the dry leaves. We make a small, you know, put it in the mixie and then you make a powder from it. It's being sold for crazy money, but there's no logic in that because anyone, anyone can grow it. But so many people, they won't even dream to do, you know, grow a plant outside their garden. This is the, um, this type of tree you, 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 you sort of add, add odds to understand how it's forgotten, you know, how you can't even find that in a restaurant. Well, the UNESCO said it's the best food in the world. It grows easy. It uses less water, has an incredibly good taste, and yet you don't find it in restaurant. Like, where, where's the logic in this, you know?